Hello and welcome. Today I want to go over a medical kit that I've been working on. It's a work in progress and I've used a London Bridge trading thigh rig here. Uh, I used to have this filled with my EDC kit but I changed that last year and this was sitting empty for a few months and I decided to fill it up with some medical supplies uh, due to the events of uh, this past year. So I thought it'd be smart to start building another medical kit. I have several that I have now and this is going to be for a thigh carrying potential kit or a backpack mounted kit. Uh, it's, a, it's not too in depth. Uh, it's mainly for my work environment which I work outdoors as a trail steward. Uh, what I did was I went to the store and I bought a small first aid kit on the go from Equate. It's your basic booboo -boo kit, 85 items inside. Uh, it's just something to be as a base unit inside this kit here. So I have these items in here with the exception of the cold pack. I took that out as I did not need that for my uses. Uh, the kit here has straps on the back you can mount to your pals webbing or your molly webbing. It has quick release tabs on the side here to take it off your thigh if you have to. Um, and the thigh holder belt which is pretty good. I've used this for a number of years on the trail building trails so the bag I know definitely can hold up to the rough trail use in the mud uh, in the environment and dirt soil and rock and whatnot and it's held up pretty well. Uh, to access the bag you have these zippers on the side here with cordage pulls and it does include a front pouch here but I, I don't have anything in the pouch right now. I might put some shears in there. I don't have shears with this kit unfortunately but in the future, I'm looking to upgrade it. So this is what I have for now. It's not the best layout, and uh, I'm going to rework it, but I figured I'd show you guys what I have inside working on it anyway. Uh, we'll start over here on this side. We have a reflecting mirror from uh, Base Glide. This is a stainless steel version. It's still wrapped and it's plastic. I don't want to scratch the mirror until I need to use it. Uh, I realize that sometimes having stuff wrapped up, like in bags, in a medical kit, may not be the best choice because your hands might be bloody or slippery or wet. You might not be able to open the bags right away. So some of these are going to come out of the bag. Some of them are going to stay in the bag for the waterproofing. Uh, one of the items I'm going to keep is the mirror in the bag. Uh, I have a Slim Rescue Howler whistle, which I took out of one of my other kits. I had two whistles in the kit, so I figured take out the redundancy, put it in here. I do have this attached to my light. It's the I1R2 EOS from Olight. It's a small mini micro rechargeable light, which I have the charging cable here. So I figured I'd keep these two together in case uh, you know they don't lose. I don't lose them. Ideally, I would dummy cord this all to one of the straps here, which I'm working on. Uh, moving along in this plastic bag here, I have a Leatherman Toro, which I'm probably going to take out and dummy cord to one of the straps here. I have a big lighter here, and then I have a button compass here that's uh, air dampened. So a button compass, lighter, and the Toro from Leatherman inside. I don't have any more multi-tools to put in here other than the Leatherman Toro, otherwise I would. Uh, moving along underneath the first flap here, we have some bandages with uh, Neosporin here. Put that on the side. We have compressed gauze from NAR. We have some more antiseptic wipes, uh, boo-boos, uh, bandages, and basic other cleaning materials, prep pads and whatnot. And then further in the bag, we have a Mahler space blanket from NAR. And then further in on the second pouch here, I have two packs of bleed stop, which I bought from Walmart. This is not going to do major wounds, but minor wounds, I figure, are more common, at least where I work. So I have these in here to uh, keep everything nice and kosher. Um, moving to this side here, we do have uh, a Ziploc bag here with some splints for fingers and some extra gauze pads that are wrapped in the, the uh, bag here. I have a small spray bottle of antiseptic wipe or alcohol wipe just to, to clean your hands, whatnot. I have, figure I have something on there in case the gloves fail me. Gloves are also in the bag here. I'm working on getting an extra pair of gloves to just stick right here in the front, so it's easy access. Again, not everything's gonna be in the bags so once I fully have it set up the way I want to. Uh, moving along, this is a six inch ETD uh, trauma dressing right here. Uh, we have a Cat 7, Generation 7 North American Rescue tourniquet. In this pouch here. This is probably going to end up coming out of the plastic pouch so I can pull it out easily and get it out. I do have some safety pins here on the side 
and uh, that's pretty much the whole entire kit thus far. Uh, like I said, it's a work in progress, so I'm still trying to figure out the best placement of things, and I'm still waiting in, on a few items that I want to put in here, a few more items. Um, I do want to get a slightly better multi-tool inside, probably like 11 P4 squirt, or a uh, even a uh, Rev4, which I originally had in this kit as an EDC kit, but I changed that up, and now that's in another kit. So, and uh, trauma shears would be the other option to have in this kit here. Again, uh, like I said, not everything's gonna be bagged in here because I wanna access it quickly. And uh, the other thing I wanna put in here is uh, at least 50 feet of some kind of cordage. So I haven't yet done that. So that's some upgrades I wanna do with this kit here. Overall, uh, I do like it. It's a lot more lightweight than my ham radio uh, medical kit, which I uh, did a video on before. So this would be for more of a uh, work kind of environment for me and my uses on the trails. Anyway, I thought I'd show you that. So thanks for watching and uh, I'll see you guys later.